So hopefully you guys aren't all Osborned out <laughs> by the new Mac Osborne collection because I'm going to haul it and then I did do a look with um, quite a few of the products on my face today. So if you want to hang tight towards the end of the video, you can see it demoed and how I got this look and stuff like that. But um, let's just jump right into the products because my mom is waiting for me in the barn. <laughs> it's so nice outside. I feel guilty for even being in the house right now, but we got to tie up some yearlings and then I'm going to go try to catch some colt footage to put in a video for you guys. Hopefully this one. So anyway, let's jump into these products. I'm just going to show you guys the packaging on each. The Kelly stuff is a matte purple with her signature on it. And then the Sharon stuff is got a glossy finish with her signature on it. So to spare you showing you every single box. I was eyeing the uh, special edition packaging for the patent polish lip pencils from MAC for the Sharon stuff, but I have the two colors that I wanted already, and I actually have a backup of the, uh, what's this one called, the patent pink one, which is my favorite. I had to have two of these. One of them is in my purse, and here's the other one. So I'm just going to show you the swatches of these two because they are in the Sharon collection and still available on MAC's website, but I believe probably Nordstrom's and those other places <laughs> will get the collection yes I think on the 12th yeah the 12th or Monday so these things should still be available um, anyway this is what innocent looks like it's a really sheer um, beige color and they really smell really good uh, they feel good on the lips as well but this one here is out of all the patent polish sticks like this this is the one that packs the least amount of pigmentation and then this one here is patent pink which I absolutely love and I have Dodgy Girl on right now, and you know what I'm actually going to do? Let's put this on. Because Dodgy Girl's matte, and I kind of like a little glossy finish. Yeah. Oh, I like that, hey. I like that combination. So just for reference, because these are in the um, Sharon line with the special packaging, which I'm still tempted, but I'm trying to be good because I don't need them. <laughs> so I picked up the two quads. Uh, this one here is the Kelly quad and it is called bloody brilliant quad quad it has a spoonful of sugar which is a lux pearl tickety boo which is a satin fizzy rose is a satin and shadowy lady is a matte which um i don't know how they line them up on the back to pertain to these so um temptalia.com <laughs> but i do know this one is shadowy lady uh, i have this quad on today and i was really pleasantly surprised with how quick and easy the the look came together it's kind of a uh a hazy like smoky purple type of a quad and I really like it I really like how it came together and it blended and I didn't have any fallout on my face because I did have to stuff my brush into like this shade here and this one kind of kicked up a, a bit of product but I mean overall it, it worked out really good and this shade right here um, above shadowy lady is a really nice transition shade it just blended out that the edges of that shadowy lady really really nice so um, really surprised with this and I like it so let's swatch it out on my fingers for you guys it is what I have on my eyes and again if you want to see how I, I created that you can hang tight but that is what they look like I mean it seems like they're nothing special really but I just really like how it came together on the eyes so the swatches aren't too fabulous looking but there it is right there I think it perform, performs a lot better than it swatches, so that is the Kelly uh, Bloody Brilliant Quad. And then this one here is the Duchess Quad, and this is the Sharon version of it. Uh, some really pretty neutrals in here, which uh, they kind of have a peachy, this one's kind of got a peachy undertone, and this one has like an amber type of an undertone. We have Sweet Eyes, which is a Veluxe Pearl, Sexy Eyes, which is a Veluxe Pearl, Femme Fatale, which is a Satin, and Embark, which is a Matte. And I can tell this is the, uh, the Matte. <laughs> so, um, let's swatch these. And these do, I'm just from, based off, like, straight up first impressions, um, this one swatches a lot better than the Kelly one. So, I guess I'm kind of glad that I used the Kelly one, because it performed really nice, but it doesn't swatch that good. So, here is the swatches of that really pretty yeah this one definitely swatches a lot better than the kelly quad but so i bet it's going to perform good too and then i was able to pick up both of the uh blushes the kelly one is called cheeky bugger and it is a satin powder blush and it looks like that again i don't know if i mentioned this the kelly and i'm sure you guys have seen this a couple times already <laughs> but uh this is kind of a satin uh purple finish to it and then glossy red for sharon's but um, this is kind of a, it's a peachy, a really pale peachy pink color. 
like a, a pastel almost. Let's swatch this. And it does have some little tiny fine fine uh, silver it looks like micro shimmers in there. They're kind of hard to detect but this is what it looks like on my fingers and I did dab just a tiny bit on top of my cheeks because I was trying to I wanted to wear it. <laughs> um, but that's what it swatches out like right there. Gosh, it is really really light though so if you're deeper complected you might not particularly like this one and then the blush that I went quite a bit all over my cheeks with is the peaches and cream from the Sharon collection and this one is a satin as well and this is kind of a <laughs> I'm awesome at describing colors I know but it, it from looking at it in the pan it looks like a peachy uh, coral but on the cheeks it does kind of pull a lot of pink I think I don't know. I kind of got out of control when I was putting it on, so I had to blend it out a bit because it, it packs quite a good, quite a bit of uh, pigmentation to it. So that is what it looks like right there, on my finger, and then there it is right there on my hand. Really pretty though. It's it's a um, it's a real summery one of those colors that that pulls with that burnt pink type of uh just out of the sun that's kind of what it looked like to me anyway but i really like this i really like both the blushes and then i did pick up both of the mineralized skin finishes and i was really on the fence with these because um reviews were kind of all over the place with them and i wasn't quite sure if one was going to be dark enough for like a bronzer and one was going to be light enough for a highlighter so i was kind of iffy about it but i went ahead and picked them up anyway so this one here is the kelly version it is called jolly jolly good and I did use this top part right here as a highlight, but um, when it barreled down to it, <laughs> I needed more of a, a lighter highlight because this is really, really subtle and it's not quite as light as I like it. And then this half right here, I used all over my face, kind of like how, how I use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. And it did add a little bit of color and glow to my face, but overall, I, I think it came together nice. So let's swatch these. Uh, the highlight is very subtle, I will say. So there they are on my finger. I don't know if you guys are ever going to be able to see this. Oh dear. We'll just have to go with um, my fingers here because that's not going to show up on my, my skin there. But So that is the dark side. There's the highlight side. And it does, the highlight side is a pink, pink undertone to it. And then the other side kind of has a beige undertone. I think light, medium even dark might be mm, light medium possibly dark on this side can use this as a nice highlight but it is really subtle so and then the other one is called refresh and this is the Sharon Osborne version and it looks like this here uh, I stuck my bronzer brush into this half right here and that is what I have on my face as far as uh, bronzy color is concerned I was a little iffy about it because I thought it was gonna pull a bit more orange but overall with like all the products used and stuff I think overall it looks it looks fine um, as a bronzing shade and both of these powders are really really smooth um, really smooth powders and then the highlight shade I didn't use this would be a little bit too dark for me to use um, real high on my cheekbones unless I'm like really tan which happens never <laughs> um, but you could swirl it if you wanted more of a bronzy glow you could swirl the highlight into it and I think it'll work out nice so so there is the highlight and the bronzy part and then here is the this finger right here is them mixed together right there so for my fair skin tone, this uh, refresh one is probably going to be used as a straight up bronzer for me and then the uh, Kelly one uh, I'm gonna probably use it try to use it as a finishing powder because I do like how it came together It kind of just put a veil of a, a little bit of a glow and tied my whole look together a little bit um, The highlight is too subtle for my liking though now. I was able to get all four of the lipsticks six o'clock in the morning man that, That's some diehard stuff <laughs> um, But I did get all of the Kelly lipsticks and we'll swatch it I'm gonna swatch them out with my hand and then I'll show them to you guys, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's it's beautiful It's just beautiful satin matte um, lavender packaging I think it's stunning so here are the swatches of the four Kelly lipsticks the top one is the is a satin it's Kelly yum yum and the other three oops are all mattes this one here is called strip poker this one right here is called riot house and then the last one is called dodgy girl which is what I have on my lips um, I was real iffy about the mattes but when I saw swatches they almost look like a satin matte finish and I do have that on and I put that you know that crayon over the top but um, 
upon initial application, it went on really nice. It didn't feel like, oh, I had a terrible experience with the, the retro mats. <laughs> um, these seem to be really nice and they swatch out really nice as well. I know some folks were saying they were real iffy about these, but um, I'm really fair. So I think I'm going to, with a uh, like something like Chanel Natural Lip Liner, I think these two shades are going to be pretty nice. I was go I was really trying to decide which one I should wear with the look. And I mean, the purple, I just had to do the purple. <laughs> um, but anyway, there are the swatches of those lipsticks right there. And again, the packaging is beautiful. So there's all the things that I picked up from the Osborne collections, uh, Sharon and Kelly. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got the look that's on my face with these products and you know seeing how they perform upon, upon first application stuff like that you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. The makeup room is a full-blown disaster so just you know ignore that. <laughs> it's been so nice outside I just haven't I just haven't had time to do anything in here and I'm like if it's this nice outside here where I'm at <laughs> I need to take advantage so <laughs> anyway um, I'm gonna take this jolly good mineralized skin finish from the Kelly collection part and I'm going to take this Chikahoto uh, hi highlighter brush I'm just gonna put it in the light side right here because I believe this side's gonna be too dark so I'm just gonna carefully try to pick it up on that side right there and then I'm gonna use that to highlight the tops of my cheekbones hopefully it'll be light enough for how I like it uh, very subtle is what I'm seeing right now it's pretty though it's really really subtle though that um, highlight and it's kind of got a pink undertone to it also put some right here above my lip right here top of the brow yeah that's pretty subtle that uh, highlight there now I'm going to take the Refresh Mineralized Skin Finish from the Sharon Collection on a Chikahoto uh, powder brush and just concentrate it on that dark side and bronze up my face with it and hopefully I won't look orange. It kind of looks like it has an orange undertone to it, but we'll see here. Both of these products are very, very powdery, but... Mm. It's definitely bron uh, bronze enough for me, but it does, it does lean a little orange. Just a hair. Not too bad though. I think I can make that work. So my hair. A little on the ear. Then I'm gonna take the multitask brush from Real Techniques and just uh, blend that out. It's what I use to put on my mineral foundation. Let's give this a blend here. So definitely a bronzer for me, that product. Now I think I'm going to take the peaches and cream. I'm torn <laughs> um, between the Kelly and the Sharon blush here. Um, I'm going to use the Sharon one. Uh, and a Goss number 11 brush. I'm just going to pick that up on the tip here and pop that on the cheek. Oh, it's pretty. It's kind of a... um. It's kind of a deeper, I guess, pink shade with just maybe a hair coral in it, but it's pretty, oh my gosh, <laughs> in the viewfinder because I'm trying out a different lighting situation. <laughs> um, that looks pretty stark. <laughs> uh, we'll blend it out though, so a little carried away there. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my foundation brush again here and I'm just going to buff over this. Really buff it into the skin. That sucker was pigmented. It was a lot. I guess I kind of got out of control there. <laughs> buffs out nicely though so that's good I still feel like um I still feel like I need more highlight from that Kelly Kelly one I, mean, I didn't pick up any more product I'm just gonna blend this out here now against my better judgment because I do want to use as many of these products as possible <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a big Chikuhoto powder brush and instead of like my hourglass hourglass ambient lighting powders or whatever I'm gonna I'm going to try to concentrate my brush on this half of the, of the Kelly Jolly Good and just kind of dust it all over kind of as a finishing powder and see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully I don't look like a, a disco ball. I think it's going to put a little bit of, a little bit more color into my face is what I'm, what I'm guessing. So just dust it all over here.
so not bad but it did put some glow and a bit of color into my face I'm still not too um I'm still not too happy with the highlight from the Kelly Jelly Good Quad uh it's too it's still too deep looking up there for me because it doesn't doesn't really pack a lot of pigmentation it does have a, a, a light sheen to it but um so I'm gonna go over it with my uh clay de po highlighter and this is the number 14 um, on that same highlighter brush here I'm just gonna pick that up and swipe it in the same spot to brighten that up because that was it was a bit not quite pigmented enough for that area for me so that is better for me right there I'm gonna prime the eyes with the Super BB All-in-One Beauty Balm Concealer from Positions Formula just from the lash line to underneath the brow I was going back and forth between what quad to use too. Uh, I'm going to go with the, the bloody brilliant quad, the purpley one, since I feel like there's a bit more pink in my face <laughs> than bronze. So um, let's go in with, ooh, we're going to, oops, let's go in with this shade right here, the, the pinky purple one in the bottom corner. Pick that up on a Goss number 18 brush and I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. Then I'm going to pick up this shade right here uh, on that same brush and I'm going to pack that a little bit right here. Brighten that up a little bit. Then on a fluffy Goss 19 brush I'm going to pick up that same shade right here and I'm really kind of having to dig my brush into that one but I'm just going to go in and the brow with it. Right there. That's pretty. I'm not that I'm not big, that big of an expert on the Mac shadows and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, as far as repromotes and limited edition and stuff like that, but you can always check Temptalia. She's pretty good at that. So, the one shade I do know is Shadowy Lady right here because I have that one. <laughs> uh, but on a Gossamer Six brush, I'm going to pick up that Shadowy Lady shade here, and I'm going to go into the crease with it. Um, I think it's turning out pretty good so far. So far, so far, so good. And then, on a Goss number 2 brush, it's just a little pointy br brush like this, which oh, I just love it. I'm going to pick up that same uh, shade there and sharp sharpen up my outside the corner. And I just use the tail end of my brow as a guide for that in opposition to using tape. <laughs> and then go back in with my sixth brush and just give this a blend. This was reminding me of like a, a Archie's Girl quad which performed okay but this is this is doing pretty good I think cool and now on a Goss number four brush I'm gonna pick up this shade right here above shadowy lady it's gonna load that up there and I'm just gonna blend out the um, edges of shadowy lady with that in the front I always like to bring it up to the tail end of the brow or the beginning of the brow there that just pushes back that area for me and gives me the overall desired effect I guess I'm going for but Let's just blend this out. Pick up a tiny bit more there. I like that. I wasn't I wasn't thinking I was gonna like it or it was gonna perform as good as it's <laughs> as good as it's doing. I don't have any fallout either, so that's good. Um, I'm going to take this six brush again. I'm not going to pick up any more product, but I'm just going to run this through the crease one more time. I like that. So there is the eyeshadow done. Um, super easy. No fallout. Uh, 
I, I, I'm surprised. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to work so effortlessly, I guess. Um, I'm liking how it looks. So I'm going to go finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back and we'll put on some lips. I really like how that eye look came together. Um, I kind of like how it's all coming together, to be honest. And my face has kind of got a pinky purple vibe going on to it. Even the blush, I thought it was going to be more peachy, the Sharon blush. But it's kind of like pinky. And so I have, I'm just trying to decide what lipstick to use. Because I kind of want to just use them all. But I think the obvious one <laughs> is going to be the Dodgy Girl. I think it's going to vibe better with the look. But it's probably going to make my teeth look yellow. But I'm going to use it anyway, so. <laughs> I'm not really finding the perfect lip liner to go with the uh, Dodgy Girl lipstick but I still want, because I still want some definition to it. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the Clinique Sky Violet Lip Liner and wipe this off here. And then I'm just going to line it, line my lips with this and bring it in just a bit. So now I'm just going to take Dodgy Girl and apply it straight from the bullet onto my lips here. That lip liner actually works out pretty good, hey? Cool. And that's actually a bit more pink on the lips than I actually thought it was going to be. Hmm. You know what, for kicks, I'm let's just take this cheeky bugger blush here and on uh, Chikahoto cheek brush here, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this, see what it looks like. I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Okay. I just kind of added a little bit of a peach tinge to it, I think. I don't know. I just want to see. <laughs> I just want to use it. <laughs> um, so anyway, here is the overall finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. He's right there. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> Isn't he funny? Huh? Mm -hmm. I think Those he's funny. Those are funny with their ears back coming around. Her. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably thinking, um, this is way too many women <laughs> to keep in line. <laughs> Look at them ones Because they're like, what in the world is going on over there? <laughs> I think it's funny because he acts like an old man in the barn, you know? Mm -hmm. Going to get them other ones. Hey, is that that, that three-year-old that you caught yesterday? Um, yep. With her ears yeah. off, trying to act <laughs> all somehow. <laughs> yeah. Look at he's rounding up his his women, putting them in line. <laughs> he's got two bunches to keep and keep track of. See, he's kind of limping. Is he? A little on the back leg. Oh. Yeah, he just adjusted that. Got a cut on the back. I don't know. Should have got kicked. Yeah, that's possible. Did he stop for a bite? No, 
Oh, <laughs> it looked like he was taking a bite. How many horses are there? Twenty-seven. <laughs> He's really grabbing bites, but keeping an eye on these <laughs> horses. <laughs> I yeah. think it's funny. And those mares, they don't want those guys that are that close, you know. Yeah. They get the hell away from the fence. Yeah. Jeez, boss man, huh? They'll settle down and just be all peachy. Yeah. Where's that, uh, where's that dash of cashmere at? I don't see her. She's there in the front somewhere. I don't see her. That's because she's probably over there by the fence up front. Is that that little, there is that that little buckskin, right? Oh, there he is, look at him. Flashy. Don't you guys, you guys. <laughs> Do you think they're saying, hey, take us back to the barn. <laughs> Oh, so cute, isn't it? His head solid. Oh, black too. he's cutie. Look how dirty that mare is. Filthy. <laughs> this horse's nose is right in my face. <laughs> Yeah. 